What's up guys? So today is a video I don't think I've done before, but I've thought about doing a lot of. It's kind of a video that most, if not all, motor vloggers <laughs> seem to do. Uh, because there's a question we get a lot, and I've got it a lot because I found that most of my viewers are about to get in, like 16, 17, just about to get into motorbikes. So I've, I mean, you, you know, so ba I'll get there in a minute. So I get this question quite a bit. And I've always thought, what would I say? I've, I've had different opinions, but I think I finally come up with something and it's video worthy which is why you're watching this video now it was literally sunny 30 seconds ago and it's gone so i mean there's a, there's a little bit but we do what we do you know this is great britain and this is this is what we've got to put up with so it's not gonna be the most lovely scenic route i'm gonna go into the center of town again as again just because it's better quality <laughs> and uh, actually saying that this is probably one of the last videos you're gonna see of this beautiful machine which is the honda cb 500x which if you haven't seen the other videos that i have been posting i am back go check them out and while you're at it hit the like button subscribe do all those bits i've got little rem animation reminders just so if you've got a memory like me, which is like Dory, and you, you can only remember things for like 10 seconds. So what's the best beginner bike? What, what is it? Now I'm not going to beat around the bush and talk about this bike and that bike. and Well, I will be, but in a different form. Because the short answer is pretty much any bike. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to an extent. I wouldn't go and say go start on a H2 but it has so many it's like bloody insurance you know it has so many very variations of depending on where you live what you work as uh, what you be using the bike for it has so many different variations you could say a million bikes and I've learned after owning I've forgotten now, this is my 11th bike, I'll be on 12th bike when this one's sold because I've got another one. I've worked out that there's not one perfect bike out there. Not for me anyway. I like everything, I like off-roading, I want to get into some track riding, I like touring, I like fast riding on legal road, you know, I like it all. And I've worked out there's not one perfect bike. You, know, you might think there is. You might say a GS is perfect for that. But then I might say, oh no, it's too heavy. And not enough torque. Something like that. I don't know. Um, so it has so many variations. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to suggest some of them. A lot of people say 16, 17 ask me, what bike should I get first? Uh, and that you're on... You, you, in the UK, you're restricted. So it's kind of easy it narrows it down a little bit um but then again it all depends on where you live what your budget is are you going to use it for work um things like that because you could if you say you're going to use it for work and uh maybe you're going to do touring a little bit then you get the sinus oh i've forgotten what it's called terrain i think it's called the sinus terrain which is like a mini gs you know um and then if we if you same category but you move up to an a2 you could get the bmw gs 310 i think it's called again mini gs if you don't if you care for styling then obviously you go for the ktm g 125 i'm biased to that so of course i'm going to say that if you look into the 300s you have a huge market the ninja 300s are amazing the r3 is amazing and if that's the market you go for then i would suggest watching one of the bigger uh review channels and they compare the r3 the ninja 400 and the 300 and all this other lot so i'd recommend doing that so i know this is probably not the answer you were looking for so what i'm gonna do is this video is gonna be for the people that ask me what bike should i get i want you to ask me in the comments if you have a, if that's your question leave it in the comments and i will answer it depending on 
what you're going to use the bike for what your personal preference of style is do you want a sports bike do you want a tourer do you want a scooter do you want a naked um what your budget is because that's a big thing that's probably one of the biggest things is budget if because all day long i am very biased i'm going to say the ktm duke because i love that bike no matter <laughs> what electrical issues it had i will always love that bike um but if your budget is you can't afford a ktm duke then i would suggest one of the chinese brands which are not bad bikes i want to make make that clear they're not bad bikes anymore the the uh lex motos and sinis and all these other brands they're not bad bikes they're not they might not last as long as a a duke and they might not be as fast as a duke but they are fantastic bikes nonetheless and it's a good stepping stone to get into other bikes also what license you're on matters so let me know what license you've got a full license if you've got a restricted a2 license or you're on a cbt or you're just starting on a 50cc let me know um and i'll give you suggestions i might say you're on a one two you're on a one two five license you've got a small budget you only want it for going in and out of town uh you don't want a scooter i might say get a grom they're great fun and they're amazing on fuel and they're pretty cheap to pick up nowadays you might tell me you're on a unrestricted license you've got three thousand pounds and you want a sports bike for that i might say your best bet to start on is a used cbr 600 double r if you want a sports bike uh because i honestly think you can start on any bike if you want if you think you can start on a six uh, uh, a sports bike i'd always say start on a 600 then go up to the thousands if you can start on an sv650 even better um but they're not quite sports bikes in my opinion the sv S, uh, the sv650s they're more i think they're classed as tourer bikes or sports tourers um so yeah it all depends on so many different variations so many different things it all depends on those things for what's going to suit you so leave me down if you if this is for you and what you if this is your question that you've been asked wanted to ask me you wanted a, a, an answer i can try and help you in the best way but honestly get what you think's best for you um with those things in mind of what restrictions you might have and it doesn't matter after that as soon as you're on two wheels that's all that matters it doesn't matter what you're on i mean look at me i've been on sports bikes i've been on uh, tourer bikes i've been on mini bikes i've been on dirt bikes i've been on so many different things to try and find out what would suit me best and try and find out the perfect bike but honestly the perfect bike is a bike with two wheels they're all fucking perfect and it doesn't matter what you're on as long as you're on two wheels all right that's that's that honestly I, I can't say much more than that and i'll leave you there i know i know it's probably not the answer you were looking for but i i i, I think it's pretty good pretty good <laughs> anyway guys uh i'll see you in the next video we're keeping these up don't forget to smash that like button subscribe 50% of you aren't subscribed so make sure you are more than 50% of you so come on come on don't let me down don't let me down let's bring, let's bring this channel back up I'm, my aim is to get back to 100 views before an hour of the video posted so that's how I, I used to be at that mark I want to get back to that mark if I can get to that I'm happy and then we're going to hit 10k come on boys we can do this by the end of next year 10k and we'll go from there alright I've got so many plans I've just got to make them through, but oh, it's good to be back. Honestly, your comments are just amazing. And just for that, I'm going to do this. <laughs> right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.